Hello again, everybody. In this video, Serge goes through sorting in LibreOffice Calc. What is a sort? Uh, if we uh, go back to uh, mathematics and we have a set, uh, for instance, we have a set of natural numbers. So these are positive uh, integer numbers, including zero. And if we take uh, three digits, for instance, one, two, and three, we can show them in different orders. In fact, we've got six possibilities. Uh, for the first, we get to show we have three choices, either one, two, or three. Then for the second, we get to show we have choices. And for the third, we get to show we have no choices, the one which is remaining. So we can, for instance, begin with one, and we would have one, two, three, or one, three, two. We begin with two, we've got two, one, three, and one. And if we begin with three, We've got three one two and three two one, and these are orders. And in fact, a sort is um, keeping all items or all the records, shuffling them and presenting them in a different order. The two classical orders we get are the ascending, so the one with one two three, and the descending one, the one with three two one. But you see, there are four other possibilities for those three digits. So we can present uh, these numbers in different ways. And this is what a sort will do. It will always keep all items or all records of your data, but will present them in a different order, for instance, in an order different than the original order. So we will show it for numbers. So if you type in A1, uh, you, you click on FX. Yes, that one. And you go to random between. I think it's random dot between. Type, yes, uh, random between. Random between. So you click on uh, next below. And we will give uh, one for the bottom and 50. 50 for the top and OK. And now you click on the small and you go, for instance, for 20 digits until you, you get them. Yes. Uh, now you have a formula in this. Keep them static because otherwise, each time you will do something else, uh, Calc will recalculate those uh, numbers and will give you other numbers. So what you can now do is uh, do control C. And then you right click in the selection, right click, go to paste special, paste special, and uh, click number, number. Say yes, we override, but they will say the same. And now you can see if you click in any of the, you, you should click escape because I see them some small, yes. Now you've got only numbers. We have um, created 20 numbers uh, from random, but instead of getting a formula, we have static numbers. They won't change anymore. So could you click from A1 to A20? So when you do a sort, at this moment, they are presented in a specific order, but we would like to have them, for instance, either in an ascending order or in a descending order. Now that they are selected, you can click on uh, A, B, yes, if you click on that one, yes, click, you see, they are in ascending order. They go from the lowest number to the highest number. Here you've got some duplicates, but the, the principle remains the same. You can click on the other one, these C to A, yes. And you see, then you've got the descending or reverse order is going from the highest number to the lowest number. So this is for digits. Uh, could you delete your selection? So that was for digits. What happens with text? So could you put the four or five um, first names at random?
Okay, you could select A1 to A5. And you do the same uh, A to C. Okay, and here they are um, in the alphabetical order. And if you click on Z to A, you have it in the, the reverse alphabetical order. So this is for text. Then you delete your selection and put random dates. Do, do it the American way. Uh, dates in Belgium are different. Okay, the problem is they are already uh, in uh, the good order, so that wouldn't change. Presumably, the first digit is the month, or not? Yes, the first digit is the month, so it's month, day, so it's year. Month, day, so you, aha, uh -huh, okay. Is Let me, I'll so do, I'll put, do. Um, yeah, yeah, some, something which is, there we go. Okay, 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 could you select them from? A1 to A5, and then mm -hmm. click A to Z. Okay, here you see they are uh, from uh, the, the most ancient, the most um, previous date to the most recent date. And if you click on Z to A, then it's the reverse. It's from the most recent to the most a ancient date. So these are the classical uh, sorts. You've got either an ascending order or a descending order. We have shown it on numbers, we have shown it on text, and we have shown it on dates. But now we might have another uh, possibility. We would like to create our own, so a custom order, something that is neither ascending nor descending. So how do we do this? The first thing, if we must create such a custom sort, and then we can select it and use it. So where do we create those custom sorts. You go into Tools, uh, Options, and then you open uh, LibreOffice and you choose Sort Lists. And there you click on View. And there you see you defined your entries. For instance, suppose you've got uh, um, some departments. So click Department, part DPT, but DPT, um, let us say 22 or this or comma, and then you can, can click on something before. So let us say accounting, and then uh, comma uh, IT or finance is good, finance. IT and then finance, okay, finance. And we keep all, only those. So you can add them, multiply add this, and now you can click on apply. Apply or okay, it will be. Okay. We have shown that it is possible to sort um, those items with a specific a custom sort. And I will end the sort with the last thing. Things you can do uh, automatically in Excel, but you can't do that in uh, Calc. So could you delete your selection? And we will go in another column because it might remind that it has a, a custom sort. You, you put in B1 color, name color, and in C1 name. Okay, in C2, you select, um, change the background color. So you've got uh, an icon with a yellow, yes, you go in there, you, you, you click on the yes, and you choose a color, green for it. And in the name, you type green. No, 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 no not there, in, uh -huh. in the column name, sorry. <laughs> yes, without N. Okay, then you choose in three another color. You type its name, the, 
the color doesn't matter. It must be another color. So we'll take three colors and then you repeat one color. So that we go. Now repeat one or two colors that we already have. Can I just copy them? Uh, yes, if you wish. Okay, uh, it's good. So now we need to create. Um, so we by bit we are not obliged. So could you uh, select from um, B one to C seven, and here you will click on ascending order, and it it does nothing. Yes. Right. Okay. So now we go into data. Sort uh, the the name must be it's on the color. You see, it cannot do uh, so. You have to change from the name, and you have ascending, and you click OK. And now you see you will have all the rows which are in green. They will be uh, grouped together, and all the those in orange, purple, and so on. If you want to have them in another order, you see. Then it's back again to that uh, custom order, but uh, we won't do that. We finish it. You see, you can have uh, the colors in Excel. You can sort by color immediately. They give you that option to immediately you select, um, for instance, on where you've got colors, and you can uh, and filter them and sort them by color, which you can't do at the moment in. Uh, LibreOffice Calc, but we have a workaround by creating this so that you have all the rows with the same color grouped together. And here I will show a sort with a table. Because with mm. a table, did you click on a 25, for instance, the first H in um, G2? Oh. Yes, and there you click on uh, ascending. See, not only did it um, sort it in an ascending order all the ages, but it took automatically the selection. It detected that there are adjacent, adjacent columns with data in them, and it selected. Sometimes it doesn't, but it proposes you. It asks you, would you ex would you like to extend the selection? Would you like to keep only the current selection, or would you like to uh, abandon what you are doing. You see, it uh, it asks you what you would like to do. Here, it has detected, and this is good, that we have uh, other data in the adjacent columns, and has done what is needed. So, this is to show. Uh, could you click uh, in um, F two, F two, and do a reversing order, so the descending order. So you've got all the males. But it has remembered, you see, it has remembered that the age were in ascending order. But now we have uh, the gender in reversing order, but it kept the previous uh, sort. You see, but the ages for the male are in an ascending order, the ages for the female are in an ascending order, but column gender is in reverse uh, sort, so it is descending sort. You can click on edit, and we will undo the two sort we Let's undo sort. Yes, you see, and, and undo sort second time. And now we have as it was originally, because you can see the column ID, which was sorted by ID number, is from 1 to 20. So this was the original order, I mean, of this table. Here, if you wish to apply several uh, sorts, then what you can do, for instance, and we will show it, um, we, we have to click in data and sort. You click in data and sort. And here you see you've got three possibilities. So for the first column, you can say, for instance, we will choose it by country. Country in ascending order. Then the second column, we will choose by, um, let us say, by gender, and we can choose 
in descending order. And then for the third key, we will choose it by H, and we will keep it free by sending O. And you see now, in this, in my version, I don't have the fact that it added. You could even add a fourth, but you won't do it. So you can click on OK. And now we will see. We see that the country are sorted in the ascending order. Then, when you have the same country, China, for instance, it is in descending order. Male is before female. And then, if we go for China and female, we see that the ages are in the ascending order. So here is the way to combine different uh, sorting orders on different columns.